Alright. There we go. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Doing this shit. Here we go. That should work pretty good.
And you could probably, like, if you get bored, even go on my YouTube channel and, like, mm -hmm. watch what we're doing. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's live, bro. knows this is my first live video I've never done this before so uh, just hang in there <laughs> look guys it's me <laughs> that's incredible yeah. It'll be an interesting experience, that's for sure. For all of us. Cooker before? Uh, yeah. I just bought one yesterday. Um, and it, it, it's so fucking sick. I made a, uh, yeah, we, I, I bought it. It took a hundred, it was like a hundred twenty dollars uh -huh. on sale at uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. And I had never used one before in my life. And I found this recipe online. So I made like this. Uh, vegan chowder thing. Right. And, dude, it was. You made, wait, you made a vegan chowder? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. It was okay. It was so sick because, like, I'd never made, like, a soup before, like, completely from scratch. The only chowder I've ever had is, like, clam chowder, you know what I mean? Dude, it, it was. It, I love clam chowder, but. Dude, this vegan chowder is so fucking awesome. Vegan like, chowder. Sounds like you're getting cheated, bro. No, it, it was, it was, it only took, uh, the prep time kind of took a while. Oh, I'm sure. But the, uh, the cooking time was only like 10 minutes. The cooking and the pressure thing, but man, it was so fucking sick. And I had so much left over. It said it served four, but I have like probably eight servings left over. Nice. But I, yeah, I'd never used one before. Okay. And it's so fucking, like, it's insane. But it did blow out the, uh, it blew out the outlet in my kitchen. Because I plugged, uh, like, my toaster back in the same outlet, and it's not working. No, you can't do that. Yeah, it fucking blew out my, my thing. I'm going to change the fuse now. Like, damn, man, it's fucking, yeah. I'm really excited to, like, cook, because of that. I'm going to try to, like, meal prep and, like, you know, make kind of like a a large amount of food that 
that lasts me throughout the uh, yeah, no, I get it. The week, or yeah. you know, not spend money on eating out and shit. But yeah, it's so easy. So I'm wondering, like, if that was that easy, like, what else would be, you know? Oh, dude, you can. Um, I've heard you can make everything from uh, like roast. Oh yeah. To uh, to like. Cool soups and stuff. I've already can do all kinds of cool shit with it. Especially for me. Yeah, I mean, you can like, there's a bunch of recipes. I just found like one that I kind of wanted to try out. It was kind of weird, but yeah, it's super sick. I took five pounds of russet potatoes. All right. I uh, peeled them, cut them into cubes, threw them in there, and then like broccoli, celery, three cloves of garlic, some much that earth balance vegan butter. Uh, salt, pepper, uh, vegetable <laughs> hear, that, broth. hear that, everybody? We're we're doing yeah. a recipe. It's like it's like I'm tattooing Martha, the the dude Martha Stewart right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> vegan Martha Stewart. If anybody's vegan out there, we're just saying, uh, get a pressure cooker. Get a pressure cooker. You can make an amazing vegan chowder. So I'll go over the ingredients again. All right. Five pounds, which is roughly like five large russet potatoes. Okay. Peel those motherfuckers, cut them into cubes, uh-huh. and then get a uh, cup and a half of celery, cup and a half of large carrots. Okay. Not the baby carrots. I like the baby no, carrots, dog. Well, I like baby carrots too, but I'm a big fan of baby carrots. Nothing like the uh, the big old boys. What's right. up, Doc? You know? I gotta right. go uh, fucking Bugs Bunny over here. Okay. And then we gotta go... Uh, Three cloves of garlic, and then what else we got in there? Uh, salt, pepper, get some earth balance, vegan butter, Okay. Put that motherfucker on there, and then four cups of vegetable broth, Okay. and then uh, what else we got? Uh, oh yeah, and then two, three cups of almond milk or soy, whatever you prefer, make it thing, put it motherfucker in the pressure cooker. 10 minutes on high, it's done, release the pressure, then take the masher, mash down the potatoes, okay. and you got chowder. Chowder! Motherfuckers, motherfuckers are going to be making chowder. Who would have thought you could watch the tattoo video and, and learn how to make vegan chowder? Yo, we got you here. We got you. It's we got lit. your back. It's lit. <laughs> So next time I get tattooed, I'm going to come at you with a new recipe. You're going to have a new uh, recipe for the pressure cooker? I'm going to, yeah, that's going to okay. be my thing. Oh, okay. Right. I'm going to call, I'm going to start a YouTube channel called Under Pressure. <laughs> and the theme song is going to be Queen. Not yeah. That van- not that vanilla ice bullshit. No, 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 that's... I'm going to have Queen and then, uh, yeah. Alright. Tight. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a whole thing. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Not really. I hope nobody still has that idea, though. <laughs> Somebody's totally going to start that channel while we're talking right now, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> I saw this, like, meme online. Uh, this guy's at a coffee shop, and next to him is a group of people, and they're, like, being really loud and obnoxious, right. and they're talking about starting their company, and they found the perfect domain name, right? But they're being like really rude and obnoxious, and the guy's like not having it. <laughs> so he's like, "Well, he's sitting there, he buys it." <laughs> yeah, he buy. Yeah, he buys the domain name. Yes, that's awesome. Fuck you, fuck you, you loud motherfuckers. So underpressure.com. I'm gonna buy that. Like, how could you already not have? That as a domain name. I don't know. I don't know. Some, no, honestly, it's probably already owned by someone. Oh, sure. it's got to be. It's it's fine. Fine. Underpressure.com, which is the third. Go Daddy. Go Daddy. Well, if it goes to Go Daddy, that means it's probably for sale. They probably. Really? That's not for sale? Should I buy this thing right now? Underpressure.com. 
I mean, you could, or you could just make a YouTube channel called Under Pressure, and you wouldn't have to buy the domain. Is this your domain? Wow. Nobody has underpressure.com? Oh, my God. Um, maybe. Maybe. Nobody does, because it might be a copyright issue with... True. I don't know if you can copyright the song. I don't know if you can get away with that. No. You might be able to... I wish, as far as like the domain, like, you know, you have like .com, .org, right, all right. that. It'd be so cool if you could do under pressure dot cooker. Dot what? Dot cooker. Oh, yeah. But, I don't know if they're saying. More cooking tips coming up after the break. As I'm starting to learn with uh, my YouTube channel, nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> nobody gives a shit. Our, our existence is meaningless. Uh, yeah. Basically. Life is pain. Tattoos are pain. They all hurt. Mm. Eric. Yeah. What are we doing right now? We're tattooing the shit out of your back. Does it hurt? Uh, yeah. Not you, but it hurts me. No, it does. I, I feel great, man. I feel amazing. I'm gonna be honest. I feel uh, I feel tremendous. So I don't know. I don't know what you're tripping on. Uh, it is. Uh, it's not good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not good. Wait, as they so, say. So, figure what we'll do is I'll go ahead and finish up this outline, uh -huh. and then I'll probably shut down uh, the live and go to go to video, so I can put together a decent video for the kids that can't watch it right now. All right, sounds uh, good. I need you to lay down a little more. All right, there we go. Gotta lay down. Yeah. Boss's orders. Yeah. 
it is painful, but it is joyous. Good, killing it. Just a little, sorry. My this bad. is all good, man. My bad. There we go. Alright. Alright. Gotta do a part in the middle. As soon as I got a mom tattoo, she can't be mad at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked her when she was here too. I was like, "How much? Like, what would I have to do to get you to get like a matching tattoo with me?" She was not impressed at all. She was not feeling it. Not having it at all. <laughs> got to get those hard to reach places. Right. Uh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm just gonna 
move this arm to the sleeve. So that's that. That side's done, huh? Yeah.